Welcome back to another video. My name is Aaron and I help people expand their consciousness. Now in this video, what I wanna do is share with you the most powerful technique that I have found for being able to shift to the parallel reality you prefer. Now I recently did a video on the idea of manifesting the parallel reality that we want. And in that video, I shared this technique, but what I wanted to do was to really elaborate on it and put it into a powerful exercise type video that we can do together so that we can really shift ourselves from the inside out. But before I do that, what I want to do is just kind of explain that video, uh, like summarize it so that we can understand the context of what it entails. Now, the idea under this video of manifesting the parallel reality that you prefer is knowing first off that we are constantly changing and at a deeper level we are shifting through parallel realities every second. So the idea of shifting to the parallel reality is something that happens naturally but the idea is to create a greater distance between the one that we're in now and where we prefer to be. And one of the easiest ways of doing that is to embody the perfect version of ourself with what we can imagine. Now imagine this idea, as you see my hand go like this right now, it looks like I am just moving it in one fluid movement. But from the point of view of parallel realities, we can see that I'm actually shifting through many parallel realities and that while it looks like one fluid movement, it is actually shifting and it looks like one continuous movement, but that's just an illusion of continuity. The way reason that we can see it as one fluid movement is because we have our memory to tag them and to see them in a linear type sense. Now, of course, we see our reality in the form of time, space, like perception, but this is about getting to the core of what, the way it works so that we can really understand how to shift ourselves in a powerful way. Now, understand that you, the who you are being, is the result of the probable versions of yourself based upon the action that you took, the way that you defined yourself to be, the beliefs that you have, and that any parallel reality you can possibly imagine exists right now in this moment. There's a parallel reality you that is totally like a billionaire living the life on cloud nine. Then there's a parallel version of you that is in a third world country that moved somewhere randomly that is living a completely opposite life. And there's everything that you can imagine in between. All of those exist right now. Now the other part of this is understanding that the only moment that exists is this moment right now. We perceive of it as different moments, but we've never actually experienced the idea of the past because when it was the past, it was this moment now. We can only remember the past now using our brain, and we can only imagine the future using our brain. By the time the future gets here, it'll be this moment now. This is important to understand because we need to become present to the moment to then understand that all the different parallel versions of us exist now. So from this point, what we're going to do is we're simply going to take in a deep breath together and the purpose of this is so that we can ground ourselves into the present moment and what we're going to do is then from that point I'm going to guide you through a little bit of imagery to imagine the perfect version of you what you want to experience and then how to connect to it and actually embody it so right now with me what we can do is take a deep breath in and then a deep breath out so if you could do this with me what we're going to do is breathe in through our diaphragm we're going to breathe in through our nose and then we're going to breathe out and as you breathe out and even as as you breathe in, bring the awareness inside of your hands, bring it inside your feet, whichever one or both. The idea behind this is that as we get more into our body, it brings us more into the present moment so that the next part of the exercise is so much more powerful. So right now, let's take a deep breath in through our nose. Put the sensation inside of your hands, inside of your feet. Now what I want to do is direct your mind, direct the way that you're imagining right now. Imagine yourself and realize that every probable version of yourself that you can imagine exists right now in this moment. The only thing that has separated you from those parallel versions of yourself is the way that you're thinking, the way that you're being, the action that you're taking. So now what I'd like you to do is then imagine the perfect version of yourself in the parallel reality, you doing exactly what you love to do. It could be that you are a painter, that you are a writer, that you are acting on television or acting in your own sitcom or on movies, whatever it is. Imagine yourself doing those things. 
And what I want you to do is pay particular attention to the body language that you have. Pay attention to the way that you move, the way that you carry yourself, how you present yourself, the tonality you use, the way that you talk to other people. Imagine those right now. For, so for me, for example, I imagine myself speaking in front of different people. Now, of course, I'm doing that at a certain level right now, but I imagine doing it maybe in like a stage type way. So I could imagine myself and stage looking out at everybody else. I can imagine how I would walk, the way that I would present myself. Imagine that then as I go home that day, what would I be thinking about? What kind of nightly habits would I have? What would I do every night before I go to bed? If I imagine myself waking up the next morning, how would I act? What kind of things would I do in the morning? What kind of people would I surround myself with? How would I be talking to those people? How often would I speak to them? What kind of foods would I be eating? What kind of things would I be doing? And as I begin to imagine all of these things, I am literally starting to wire myself towards thinking like this version of me. Now the next part of this is realizing that it's not just about thinking, it is about actually feeling. So what we're gonna do now is take this to the next level. And what I want you to do is to imagine that that is you. The funny thing about the brain is that the brain does not know the difference between what we're thinking and what we're imagining. So what we can do right now is begin to think like that version of us and then begin to feel what that would feel like. So I can imagine the fulfillment that I would get out of helping people in that way. The excitement that I would have before I got on stage, the excitement that I would have and the peacefulness under everything that I do, the kind of way that I would feel when I go home at night and I go to bed, how would I feel about that? How much contribution would I feel? As I begin to feel this into my body, and right now I can feel it into my body, what I can then realize is that the next step is that we must decide that that is who we are now. So what we know now is that that is who we are. As we begin to realize this, we realize that we are dropping the connection to the past self, to who we were before we got into this meditation exercise today. We can start to look at it like that is now us, this new version of ourself, and how would we uh, think about the version of us that came at the beginning of this meditation? We would see that that version of us maybe wasn't living the right lifestyle for who we prefer to be, was presenting themselves in a completely different way. As we begin to look at it from that point of view, we are more grounding in the idea that that is who we are. So the next part of this is just remaining consistent and holding that frame for the way that we define ourselves, Realize that we have now made a decision that this is who we are. That what we can do now is even do little exercises, even alone in our room, of enacting what we would be doing. As we begin to even role play in our mind or role play in our body around our room, what we begin to do is actually teach our nerves new tricks. We begin to teach ourselves what it's like to be that that begins to condition our body to then create more and more of that emotion, that expectation, and that belief. From that point of view, we do this little bit every day. We can do it just for a couple minutes, but the more we do it, the more momentum we create so until we actually find ourselves living in that parallel reality. But understand that that is now who you are. You will never be the old you that you were. You might drift back every now and then, but you'll realize that that's not who you are anymore. And as you begin to go throughout your day from this day going forward, that is who you are. So remember that for a while you might feel a little bit of the idea of a echo of who you used to be, but you don't have to completely identify with it anymore. And as you begin to just hold the frame of who you are now, you'll find that you begin to change in a powerful way. So I encourage you to watch this maybe once a week just to get yourself grounded into it. The more that you do it and the more you do this exercise, the more powerful it becomes. Remain consistent, hold that frame, and start to envelop the emotion you would feel as if it were happening now. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to like this video video if you liked it, share it if you found it of value, and as always, I will see you guys in the next vid. Peace, much love, namaste. Alright, bye.